Some of the most common measurement requests are temperature and humidity. The dilemma is that many pre-made humidity transducers are expensive and cost more than our DAC devices. So today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a low-cost humidity sensor with a USB 201. The HIH 4000 is a low-cost humidity sensor made by Honeywell. The device outputs a millivolt signal based on the humidity it is monitoring and only costs around $20. Just do a Google search and you'll find many places to purchase your HIH 4000. The HIH 4000, when excited with 5 volts, has an output of 31.5 millivolts per percent of relative humidity. And by simply attaching some leads to the sensor and pairing it up with our low-cost USB 201, you can have a humidity monitoring DAC device for around $120, plus the cost of software. Today, I will be using DACME, which lists for $49, when purchased with a compatible device like the USB 201. Okay, so now that you have the leads attached to the HIH 4000 humidity sensor, let's go ahead and wire it up to the USB 201. First, connect the VC Plus from the HIH 4000 sensor to the plus VO pin of the USB 201. Then the VC minus or ground from the HIH 4000 sensor to the analog ground pin of the USB 201 and last the output lead from the sensor to the channel 0 pin of the USB 201. Once you have all the wiring done you can go ahead and connect the USB 201 to the USB port and open up DACME. Let's set up the USB 201 for measurement. First you need to select a new configuration. Under the option panels select manual, click on the hardware tab, Highlight the USB 201 and drag it onto the device panel and release. Next, you need to configure your USB 201. First, enable the channels to be used. Today, we will be using channel 0. You can also set up your acquisition parameters here as well. Now we can select our display. Just highlight the scalar display, drag it onto the worksheet and release. Last, we need to add channel 0 to the display. To do this, highlight channel 0 in the display panel and drag it onto the scalar display and release. All that's left to do now is start the data collection. Right now, we are displaying the raw voltage that the HIH 4000 is outputting. As I change the humidity in the environment, you can see the voltage change as well. What's great about DACME is that you can scale your data back to engineering units using the y equals mx plus b linear equation. First, we need to calculate the scale factor values for the HIH 4000. For m, we simply use the slope value of 31.483, which is provided in the spec sheet of the HIH 4000. Last, we need to calculate for the offset or B. We can substitute 31.483 for M, our slope, and 0 0.826 for X. Solving for B, we get an offset of negative 26.005. Now we just need to enter them into our formula in DACME. And to do so, we need to switch to the configuration panel. After that, pull down the units menu and select custom. Type in RH percent sign for relative humidity then add your scale factor values. Now when we run the acquisition the data is displayed as relative humidity and not a voltage. That's how easy it is to turn any MCC DAC device into a real-time humidity sensor. If you find the need to measure both temperature and humidity you can follow these simple steps for the humidity sensor and use a multifunction MCC temperature and voltage DAC device like the USB TC AI, the USB Temp AI, the USB 2408, or the USB 2416. Thanks for watching and tune in for more how to videos at www.mccdaq.com.